Hello there! As we are having the Final Fantasy XIV collaboration rate this week, it's just a matter of time until we'll get the collaboration rate on this global server. So, in this video, I would like to give a preview for FF14 collaboration rate that might be coming next week or two weeks later. According to what they had on GP server, from this rate, you can collect the recipes and also materials for a new UR helmet that is Burganet, which can give bonus to increase disable resistance by 25% when it is full awakened. It's also increase your um, pierce attack resistance up to 10%. So if you want to have a 10% maximum bonus, you need to upgrade it to plus 5. Uh, judging by the looks, I think the helmet is looking cool. And also you can choose the shield type to have 18 plus 18 defense on your tank or maybe on your bruiser. Just make sure uh, your units can wear helmet to equip this one. Okay, if you are planning to uh, farm this equipment to plus 5, I think you should get uh, ready and prepared for this raid boss. But uh, don't worry, because we will be talking more about uh, this raid boss, like uh, my recommendation unit, vision cards, and also Esper that might that might be ha helpful to, um, to clear this raid boss. Okay. Yeah, uh, the raid boss named uh, Kuribu. I just named it by the FF14 uh, angel looking creature. I think the name is Kuribu if I don't, um, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> okay, it's a scary looking angel with emptiness in its eyes. Yeah, it's scary for me. Um, Kuribu is a light element unit with no species. That means it is no um, beast or asper human stones or machines that means the species abil uh, species killer ability will not uh, works on her or him um, yeah so but the light elemental killer like a light killer or light eater still be um, useful to deal more damage to this boss okay looking at the stats here um, it has defense value at zero and that makes it vulnerable to physical attack, especially slash attack. Hence, it has a minus 10% resistance to uh, slash attack. I think, um, yeah, the slash attacker that, uh, that will be great to uh, put on this raid. It's also weak to dark and also light uh, element attack. That means uh, dark slash attacker and uh, light slash attacker will be uh, welcome on this raid. Okay, and um, stat here, the other stat here is uh, spirit. The spirit value is at uh, 40 and also have um, magic resistance 10%. Uh, yeah, I, I hardly recommend you to use magic user here because it has a high amount of spirit and also magic resistances. But you still can clear this um, low level rate using mag uh, magic user unit. But for the high level uh, rate, I don't recommend because if you are doing it on the multi um, multi rate, you will get um, cake often. <laughs> so yeah, just um, get prepared some uh, slash, dark slash attacker or light slash attacker, so you can make it to a level one hundred. Okay, so yeah, the next one is agility at. 80 here. It is a uh, quite fast raid boss, I guess, because uh, 80 agility it might be the same as what your character has. So yeah, a fast boss, and also when I check um, its abilities here, it has uh, some support ability that can nullify uh, city changes. So some abilities like a uh, steal time. Um, or stop, it will not be working on this boss. Yeah, if you are already planning to um, just thief on this uh, raid boss, uh, maybe you can just use the thief only for the slash attack only. Because it cannot um, do the steal time, uh, it cannot uh, reduce the city for this boss. But 
uh, some abilities like um, lowering agility and also slow I think that still uh, be working on this boss because it has only 25% slow resistance so yeah slow and also uh, lowering agility status um, ability will be welcome on this boss okay talking about the unit recommendation I have uh, four unit recommendations here. The main one, the first one is Turn or Knight of Rune, a fast unit that has a high attack value with lowering defense ability that is for Hazard Fraser. Um, yeah, I think it also has a big modifier attack to uh, on this ability so you can deal more damage and also lowering defense to this uh, raid boss here. Uh, not only that, as turn the rune knight mm, it has double attack ability which will do two hit uh, dark slash attack plus 30 light killer so yeah uh, just seeing by this um two abilities here i think stern is the top tier unit to face this uh, boss i think if you have like a four um, on the multi quest or multi raid, you have four stern uh, knight of rune. It will be easy for you to clear um, this raid. But if you want to do it solo, I think you need to collect uh, four all these uh, recommendation units to clear the boss easily. Okay, the next one we have Dwayne here. Uh, Dwayne is a global exclusive unit that we just got on December uh, last year. Um, it's surprisingly good for this raid. Yeah, so if you have them on your party, uh, just be grateful because you can use him here. Um, he is a high DPS unit with defense penetration from um, his master ability and also he provides bonus of uh, 15 dark attack to him and also dark ally so yeah if you want to uh, go with a dark mono element team you can just uh, put Dwayne and buff up your other units okay and he also could choose atonement here that will um, increase slash attack up to uh, 40 for your uh, for yourself and also the other party and also it will give you uh, different penetration by 30 or 20 i forgot about that yeah but doing here is a good unit to have on your party and the next one is uh, Venera. Venera is a super fast uh, unit with good attack value and also can lower the enemy defense up to 50 because I found that um, Venera has two skills that can uh, decrease the defense uh, the first one is 30 and the second one is 50 but if you want to get the 50 decrease um, defense uh, lowering defense on your enemy you will need to attack um, them on from behind yeah and also finera has the limit burst that provide three hit dark slash attack which is good for chaining yeah i think he is uh she is so good on this raid okay and the last one here um whisper whisper has a nice main job that can allows her to get a trinity break which is a lowering agility abilities um that can be helpful so helpful on this raid yeah so that's why i think um whisper is a must if you want to um do some slash chaining to get more chains on your um party here okay and also whisper is a dark element unit that can do dark slash uh, attack so yeah she also can help you for build uh, for building a chain building <laughs> Okay, next one I also have two units um, for alternatives. The first one is Stern Leonis. Stern is still a viable unit because it, uh, he has high attack and also speed. And also he can do dark slash attack with high attack modifier here. But be careful because he's too squishy. And the other one is Shadow Links. Shadow Links is... Um, a good tier I think um, a god tier of MR unit <laughs> because um, she has high attack value and also she possess a three hit ability that is dream within a dream that can do a three hit dark slash attack which uh, which is good for chaining on the raid boss 
even though the attack modifier is too uh, little here, only um, 90%, but you can get bonus damage for uh, from chaining, like uh, dark chaining and also uh, slash chaining, that will increase the damage for these abilities and also chaining for your party. Okay, talking for um, the vision cards, uh, my recommendation is here. The first one is Exorcist. I know it's a limited time car, uh, vision card here, but it offers so much, um, so much benefit to your party if you want to uh, run this raid. Because um, not only it has a high attack from the stats, it also have a 12 different penetration here and bonus vision card ability. Uh, triple trick that allows you to use a three hit elemental uh, slash ability here uh, that means if your unit is a water it will be a water elemental attack if uh, unit your unit is dark it will do a dark slash attack here yeah that's why it's so great I just missed that uh, chance when I just uh, come back on the Halloween uh, period <laughs> yeah I and also I didn't uh, I think I didn't I didn't need uh, this card because I'm mainly using magic users, so yeah, I'll just skip. Uh, I just skip this one. And for the party ability here, it increased slash uh, penetration by 35. So yeah, it's already good here. And the second one is um, Dream of Mine and Diabolus. So Diabolus is also a good. I think it's the best uh, vision card for dark, uh, dark slash attacker because not only it gives a dark attack by 10 for bestowed effect, it also gives your party increased dark attack by 35. So um, when you're using to uh, one unit, one dark unit here, it will give you like 45 um, dark attack bonus on that unit. So yeah, it will increase your damage and help you to reach a maximum damage with the chains also. And the second one, uh, the third one is irresi uh, irres Irresistible Darkness. <laughs> it has a high amount uh, of stats uh, attack here, a 100 and 162 attack, mm, yeah, I think that's great, and also bestowed effect. Uh, to give you bonus slash attack 10 and bonus for Dwayne, dark attack 12. So yeah, I think um, you cannot argue with that. <laughs> okay, and the party ability here increase um, attack 35%. Um, you don't need, you don't really need the magic resist here because the raid boss will do um, slash light slash attack, not a magic attack, I guess. So yeah, this three uh, vision card is a good card to um, to have on this raid boss. But if you don't have the um, irresist irresistible <laughs> darkness here, you can also use a vow of love card that can give you um, 48 attack. I think that's the send. Uh, with the bestow attack is a slash attack by 20 and hate 5. It's also increased uh, your um, party attack by 30. Yeah, it's only the alternative. And if you don't have a Vow of Love card, maybe you have Ifrit card, you can also use um, that to substitute the the irresist Irresistible Darkness here. <laughs> it's hard for me to say that. Okay, next one is uh, Echoing Streams. Um, it has a high amount of attack here. Sorry, I think that's not HP. That is 169 attack, not HP, okay? Um, yeah, I'll just revise that later. And um, bestowed effect is um, 25 attack debuff. I'm not sure for um, what is that means. Maybe like um, slow? Yeah, or uh, yeah, something ability like that. And um, the party ability here is kind of good because it can uh, increase your slash attack by 35%. Uh, and if you don't have that uh, vision card max, I think Secret Order will be a viable op uh, option here because um, it has a good amount of attack, that is 105, with 10% um, agility, but it has a mi minus 5 spirit. 
but it's okay uh, there is no magic attack in this raid boss so yeah you can just ditch that and it's also give you increase uh, slash attack for your party by 20 so yeah it's kind of uh, if you don't have that card for muraga card you can just use a uh, secret order card here the next one is a serpentine onslaught the 200 trigger uh, vision card um, it will give you 180 attack mm. I think that's the highest of all, I guess. And dart attack at 10. But the main point here is the party ability because it will increase your max dam maximum damage by 200, uh, 2500. So yeah, I think this is a must have card if you want to do some raids because it can increase your um, damage limit so you can do more damage um, with the chaining that you do on this boss okay um the alternative one if you don't have the 200 uh, two-headed dragon card you can use the mind flyer uh, card here it will give you 61 attack yeah i think that's quite good uh, the bestowed effect you can just ditch that but the party ability here it will increase your maximum damage by 2000 so rather than having um Three star, three star, two-headed dragon card. I think uh, it's better to have this one, a um, man flyer card at the maximum uh, full awaken, because it will give you like um, three hundred more maximum damage for your party. Yeah, you can just do the math. I, I will just um, continue the slides here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the other one. Um, Beside the dark slash attacker here, um, I'll just recommend the slice, um, the light slash attacker. That is for uh, Ramza, uh, Cecil, Sankert, and also Engelbert. The first one is uh, Ramza. Ramza is a quite fast unit with Ninja Subjot, and he also has three hit light slash attack for triple blow from the square man job and he also has a shout ability to increase your party brave and also attack by 30% so it will more like um, buffer physical attacker here but you can do uh, chaining on the triple blow it has a three three maximum use on um, on one rate so yeah I think that will contribute more to your chaining attacks and the second one is uh, Cecil here. I think Cecil a free unit, uh, free UR unit that hand out on the FF4 collaboration. So you must, if you have played this ga uh, game long enough, then you might have this unit here. Yeah, um, he has a high attack value that provides by his uh, support ability because he has um, sacrifice and also um, Lunarian I don't know uh, bloody Lunani Lunarian yeah that uh, that will increase uh, Cecil's attack to the higher level here and also Cecil has a shining double um, that will do two hit lights uh, slash attack for chaining so yeah it's all about chain 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 and the third one here is Tancred Tancred, I think if you don't have it on the first collaboration, you can just uh, have him for a 50, 15k. 15k of the token, you can just buy that on the box shop and you will have a time card there. I just have it on this collaboration because I skipped him on the first one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still working on him. Okay, that's enough about me. <laughs> okay, Sankred has a similar kit with Cecil with high attack and also okay speed stats for a light slash attacker. So yeah, he also has a keen H ability which will do a two hit light, uh, light slash attack. So yeah, you have a Ramza with three, uh, three hit attack, Cecil two hit attack, and Sankred is two hit attack. So yeah, in one turn you can just do like a seven slash um, a seven light slash attack chain. So yeah, I think that's kind of good. <laughs> All you need is just to slow the boss down. That's why um, Engelbert um, just 
joining the party here because for me um, yeah Engelbert provides the buff to decrease rate boost agility by 20% from speed break I cannot found mm, I cannot find any light knight that has um, lowering agility um, ability here so that's why I put Engelbert on um, this party because uh, he is the only light slash attacker that has access to lowering uh, agility ability yeah, she doesn't she might not have uh, high speed or agility but uh, you can raise um, his agility to uh, 67 or maybe like 70 if you're having some good equipment and also vision card and Esper. So yeah, uh, he also can provide light slash um, attack for the chaining on the boss here. Okay, so this is the alternative. Um, I have Rob, a horn and also warrior of light. Rob has a great speed and attack based um, stats and also the support abilities which can um, make her attack stat will uh, will be higher um, than it's, it will be a decent slash attacker here. Uh, he also has Oborozuki. Uh, it's a um, samurai, samurai job uh, ability I guess uh, which can have a chance to slow the enemies. Uh, that is 25%. I think that's um, that's quite good for the phase at 90. I think it will do like 44% um, chance to slow the enemies. It depends on the resistance of the boss still. Yeah, you can do. Uh, you can try it uh, later, maybe if it's released. And uh, next one is Warrior of Light. Warrior of Light is a tanky bruiser, uh, in my opinion. And you can generate hate because um, on the boss side it will be like two rangers that can sharpshoot your character. So if you have a Warrior of Light, um, he's good. He has good speed and also good um, defense. So it will tank the um, two archers there, so you don't need to kill the archer, just focus on the boss. And he also blasts with the three hit light slash attack from his um, limit burst. So yeah, I think that's a good start to chain um, on this boss if you have him. Sadly, I don't have him until now. Okay, next, the vision card. I think the vision card will be the same like a dark slash attacker but the difference here is the new um, vision cards that I just got is the science of shadow which uh, will provide a low HP but okay attack 141 um, the bestowed effect is dark resist which is you don't need on this raid uh, but the party ability here to increase the light attack by 35 at maximum level so yeah, I think that's the vision cards and next we will be talking for the Esper. So I have some um, Esper uh, recommendation here, but as long as the Esper has some uh, slice attack bonus or like uh, attack bonus, I think that will be good to use on your unit here because we have um, different Esper here in this game um, some of us might be lucky to have them all but some of them uh, some of us like uh, we only have this Esper so yeah this is my suggestion if you have any of those um, that might be good to put on your units to fight this boss here the first one is Odin Odin will have um, 80 attack with the highest agility here that is 19 this is uh, this stats is for the max level esper but you know that you don't have to uh, max them to get the um, bonus abilities that you need to clear this boss i will tell it um later maybe okay 80, uh, 80 attack um 19 agility and attack bonus 7 percent and slash attack bonus um 15% so yeah I think Odin is um, high the highest tier for the expert if you want to put it on your unit to clear this boss the second was is uh, behemoth here behemoth uh, has a 78 attack with uh, okay agility that is 15 and attack bonus 15% and slash attack bonus 15% 
but what differs um, Behemoth from the other Esper here is his blast um, for the light killer bonus here. It has 10% for the light killer. So you will do more damage um, with Behemoth here because he has some bonus there. And the second one, uh, the third one is a uh, Fenrir. Fenrir has the highest row attack here, that is for 94. And agility um, is okay, it's uh, 14. And attack bonus is 7%, with the slash attack bonus of uh, 15%. It's the same like others. Okay, and um, the next one is two headed dragon. Two headed dragon is kind of a slow esper with the uh, highest amount of attack sorry it's it is not Fenrir it is not you Fenrir sorry <laughs> okay it provides a uh, 108 attack with uh, 10 agility that is the slow um, not the slowest but it's it is slow uh, with the attack bonus uh, I think it, it is this is the highest attack bonus that you can get from um, the Esper that is for 20% so it will benefit the units with the higher uh, base attack value like uh, maybe like uh, 100 I guess because I found that he has like 420 base attack if it um, if you count the master ability and also it will grant you a 15% slash attack bonus so yeah most likely the Esper here will give you 15% uh, slash attack bonus that is for um, the main Esper that I recommend to you for this uh, raid. Okay, the alternatives here. If you have the Red Chocobo, I think you can just use that because um, it will give a 70 attack and also um, the second highest agility that is for 17 and also attack bonus uh, 15% and slash attack bonus, uh, bonus by 10%. So yeah, if you have the uh, Chuk uh, Red Chocobo here, you can just use that because it's a uh, MR Asper, but it still be um, useful on this raid. Okay, the next one is Igayon. I know Igayon is more like a spell blade or maybe like um Rune Knight uh, Asper thingy here, but yeah, it still can provide you uh, for. 65 I think 65 attack and also a uh, 14 agility that is okay uh, without any attack bonus but it still has the 15 uh, slash 15% uh, slash attack bonus from uh, Igayon from the Esper board so yeah if you don't have any of the um, of this Esper level up and you have Igayon just go with Igayon okay the last one here um, is the Iron Giant <laughs> Iron Giant is a MR Esper that provides a 78 attack with the lowest agility uh, that we have here in this game. And attack bonus is 15% and also slash attack bonus 15%. So yeah, I think all um, the Esper that I recommend for this raid. Um, and this is my notes here. Um, most Esper are eligible to use at um, 2 Star Awakening and level 50 and 60. So yeah, you don't have to um, max level the Esper to make it work. But if you have uh, this 2 Star and also like 50 to um, 60 level, I think that's enough to uh, put it on your units and make it work on this raid. Yeah, I think that's it, the video for um, today. <laughs> I'm going to sleep <laughs> after this uh, video, I guess. So yeah, thank you for watching and be prepared for the raid boss so you can farm uh, the helmet there. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye!